Hello everybody, Lindy out here, and welcome back to another unboxing of Isaac video. This is the November box. I've had this box for a few weeks, and I am finally ready to unbox this. Real quick, I just want to say, if you are watching this, when it comes out, I am currently streaming on Twitch, link in the description, I am playing, or... I, in, in two hours from when this video drops at 11 a.m. Eastern, I am playing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I will be playing from 11 a.m. Eastern to 11 p.m. Eastern on Friday, which is today when you're watching this, Saturday and Sunday. So if you're into Pokemon, come out, say hi. I'd love to see you there. But for now, let's get to unboxing. Um, if you're wondering why I'm so late on this, I explained this in the last video, but it's mostly because I haven't had time or the energy to do it since, um, school coming back up, and it's just been hard on me lately, so please forgive me, but we're finally here, better late than never. I have no clue what's in this box, by the way. For all the other boxes, I kind of had a guess, but this one, I have no clue. I am... Okay, I couldn't find Edmund's letter, but I have it. Aw. Okay, well, that's the artwork. Okay. When I was five to seven, garbage pail kids ruined my life. There was a little corner market two blocks from my dad's house, and every weekend my sister and I stayed with him. I would always get a garbage pail kid pack. By the biggest height... By far the biggest highlight of my weekend. By the time I was seven, I had totally covered my dresser with Garbage Pail Kid stickers. I loved how it looked and, com and was completely devastated when a few years later, that dresser would become damaged in a move and had to be thrown away. My whole Garbage Pail Kid collection was gone. Even though the Garbage Pail Kids were just a satirical rift on Cabbage Patch Kids, they felt completely like their own thing. If you ask me one thing that influenced my work most, it 100% had to be the Garbage Pail Kids series. I even went and saw the movie in theaters the day it came out, and I still think it's one of the most fun movies ever made. So far this month's shirt, I actually reached out to Tom Bunk, one of the OG artists for Garbage Pail Kids as well as Mad Magazine, another major influence on me to do the art, and he did such an amazing job. Totally surreal to see this happen. Anyway, I'm sorry this wasn't a funny note, but every everything else I wrote about that time in my life was far too depressing to send thousands of people in a box full of stuff, but I'll leave you with a joke. What kind of poop should you never crack? The corny ones. What kind of poop joke should you never crack? Crack. Oh, I, bleh, I can't read. You know what I mean. Okay, so, what kind of poop joke should you never crack the corny ones? Okay, that makes more sense. So, um, first of all, Lil Edmund, why didn't, why couldn't you just, like, peel the stickers off? But that's one question I have. Shirt time! Okay, so, Garbage Pail Kids and Mad Magazine... Um, say what you want about them. I'm not a big fan of their art style, so I have no clue how this shirt's gonna look. But here we go. Boom. Okay. I'm already seeing some, some things. Again, super, super gory. I'm not into this one. I'm not into this one. I'm gonna be honest. I'll put it on. Just to show you guys, let's take that off. Just pop it on. Um, again, if you're into it, the Garbage Pail Kid mag mag magazine has style, then that's great. But me personally, it's not my thing. It's not my thing at all. But, like, I don't hate it. Like, I can say buy, like, a... Um, objectively like this looks good like i like the background and the whole like binding of isaac evil Eve, like the tom bunk signature like i i feel like those are like good good touches but the art style itself it's not for me it's just not for me 
Then, like always, we have the art on the shirt. Oh, and we have a few things. Okay, we have a sticker of the shirt. And then we have Duke of Flies. What is this? Like something I can hang in my car? Please tell me this isn't an air freshener that smells like garbage. Oh, yep, it is an air freshener. It actually smells good. It doesn't smell like garbage, but... Okay, I'll say this is cool. This is cool. I'm gonna hang this up in my car right after this. I, I can't... Does this smell bad? I can't tell. I think it smells good. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I, I actually like this a lot. I'll hang that up in my car right after this. So, um, four souls. We got the cards. Okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Number one, monsters have negative one roll on your turn. Your attack rolls of one or six count as misses. It's pretty cool. Number two. Each time a player rolls a two, you may deal one damage to a monster or player. There you go. Yeah, poop loop underwear. Cool. The black market. Okay, we get one of these. I don't know what these are. But black market. Pay two hearts. Steal an item from the shop. Honestly, this is cool. Cool design. Cool everything. And then butt penny. Gain one cent, then roll. Then what happens? Gain one cent, then roll. What happens when you roll? Gain one cent, then roll. I guess it's for, like, items of, like, oh, if you roll a three, your mom dies. Stuff like that. So, okay. So, would I recommend this? Honestly... I don't know. I, 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 I think it's cool. I think it's cool. It's, again, it's hard for me to separate my own bias with whether or not I think these are objectively good. I think, I think this is cool. I think this is super cool. And I still can't tell what it smells like. Does it smell good? Does it smell bad? I don't know what it smells like. I have a terrible sense of smell. I'm going to ask my family what this smells like. But, um, at the end of the day... Again, if you're into this stuff, you get it. You, you should get it. If you're not, you don't. Again, it's hard for me to review this stuff because it's just not my style of stuff. It's same with last month's shirt. A lot of the shirts were great. The Dogma shirt was great. The September one was great. Um, I like the four Horseman shirts. I just kind of think these last two are a bit too much. Like, too much gore for me. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not, like, a super, like, like, I'm not grossed out by gore or anything. It's just not something I want, I would put on a shirt and walk around in. But, yeah, I'll end it here. Um, at the end of the day, what, should you get this? You're an adult. You make your own decisions. You make, make your own judgments. So, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to try to get December's box out as soon as i get it but again if you are interested watch me play pokemon scarlet and violet on twitch links in the description i'd love to see you there so thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time okay see ya